Hello, I am Dr. Manish and in this clinical video, we will see a newborn baby with Pierre Robin syndrome. So, let's start. One day old male baby weighing 2 kilo presented with complaint of difficulty in breathing and feeding since birth. Full term, small for gestational age baby delivered by lower segment caesarean section. 25-year-old mother didn't take antenatal care. On examination, baby is lying comfortably. Now observe carefully the chin of this baby. You will note that it is placed posteriorly. This type of chin is due to small size of mandible and is known as microgonathia. When you see a baby with microgonathia, do examine the oral cavity for cleft palate. No. We are examining oral cavity. Cleft palate is present and is U-shaped. On observing carefully, glossoptosis is also present. Glossoptosis is tendency of tongue to move posteriorly and superiorly, obstructing oropharynx due to short mandible. Now let's see how secondary palate, which is deficient in our baby, normally develop. This is the coronal section of developing nasal septum, palate and oral cavity. Secondary palate develops from medial outgrowth of maxillary prominences known as palatine shelves as you are seeing here. These grow medially along with nasal septum which grow downwards. Palatine shelves along with nasal septum fuse along the midline palatine refe to form secondary palate. In Pierre Robin syndrome, hypoplasia of mandibular area, which is somewhat hair, occur before nine weeks in the utero, allowing the tongue to be posteriorly located and thereby impairing the closure of palatine shelves, resulting in cleft pen. To summarize, Pierre Robin syndrome is a triad of microgonathia, glossoptosis, and cleft palate. For airway obstruction, we may go with prone positioning nasopharyngeal airway, intubation and such. That's all for now in this video. If you have any queries or suggestions, then do post in the comment section below. If you haven't liked or shared yet, then do like and share this video and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.